The View host also thinks Rings of Power viewers are racist for not liking it. Of course they do. Of course they do. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this and see what they have to say here. There are some things that here that are just absolutely insane. I want to start by saying these are not real. Okay. <laughs> the new Lord of the Rings series, <coughs> the Ring of Power, Rings of Power, and Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon, are both massive hits, but they don't exist in the real world. Okay, there are no dragons, there are no hobbits, you know, you, you know that. That is true, and that isn't really anything that anybody's debating, but these wor these worlds are based on the imaginations and the visions of their authors. And if you disrespect what that world is that, that the author created, the actual world, world that the author created, that is a problem. And that is what fans are having a problem with. And there are <laughs> critics who are saying they were too woke by adding, yes... <laughs> adding diverse characters. Are you telling me black people can't be fake people too? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You can be a dragon. Well, then, if, 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 yeah, I mean, I, like... Okay, this is really, really stupid because this isn't actually what the problem is that fans have. The problem that fans have is that when they see these companies like Amazon and HBO start to put identity politics and political agendas as the most important thing in these shows, which is what they're absolutely doing with Rings of Power, I would say House of the Dragon much less than Rings of Power, then yes, fans are going to call you out for that because they see that before they even sh the show even comes out as a big red flag of what is actually important to the people that created the show. When it comes to Rings of Power, what was important to the, the producers of Rings of Power? The thing that was important to them was the political agenda was pushing their identity politics into it pushing woke nonsense into it and looking at the lord of the rings and interpreting it with a woke uh viewpoint yeah i don't know if there's like a a hobbit you know club i don't know if they're you know they're going to be protests but people what is wrong with y'all? Well, well their argument is okay and then listen to what sunny says here because wow Holy, I, when she said this, I could not believe what she says here. Listen to this. Is that it betrays the source material. Like they haven't read the source. So She's actually correct. This is what the problem is. And then apparently, okay, so Whoopi Goldberg then says, they haven't read the source material. Listen to what Sonny says next. argument is that it betrays the source material. Like they haven't JK read the source Tolkien. material. Of course they haven't. Like J.K. Tolkien and stuff like that. But I'm a J.K. Tolkien?! Who the F is J.K. Tolkien? Did you, listen, I, I, I just, I could not believe this. I could not believe this. Of course they haven't. Like J.K. Tolkien and stuff like that. You obviously haven't read it either. So you have no legs to stand on. J.K. Tolkien. <laughs> Wow, this is bad. Jake, like, you don't even know the name of one of the biggest authors of all time? Yeah, but so I'm a fantasy. Hamilton, then. The show, well, like yes, Hamilton. but I'm a fantasy nerd, and you, Whoopi and I yeah. are sci-fi and fantasy yeah. nerds, so I love it so much. And I especially love Mr. Toussaint, who plays the very sexy black man, yes, the rich you black have the man with the, with the dress. Of the man who is looking <laughs> much yes. like me. I love him. I think yes. he's gonna, Sorry. He looks like, like you. Yes. you have now, there, there have been a lot of people that have warmed up to his character in the show because they've done a pretty decent job with the character in the show. The problem is, is that before the show even came out, fans Fans were looking at that and fans were like, okay, wait. So is identity politics the most important thing to you guys when you're making this show? That is a question that fans had. Fans have a right to ask that question because fans have been burned many, 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 many times by Hollywood in the past for shows and stories that they love that have been completely destroyed by Hollywood because they put woke nonsense first and foremost as the, the important thing in the show. This is what the problem is, but they don't want to address what the actual root problem is. The root problem is 
the root problem isn't that there are black people in these shows. That isn't what the root problem is. The root problem is that that is a sign that the producers, the filmmakers, whatever else, aren't actually don't actually have an interest of honoring the source material. That is what fans have a problem with. Okay, Mr. Tucson. I, lo I love Mr. Tucson. I would like him to be a guest on the show. But that being said, what I think is fascinating is like dragons are okay, fire breathing dragons, and people with white hair that are born like that when they're little and violet eyes. But the black people in it is just a bridge too far for these. <laughs> That's people. what he said. No, these people. Oh my gosh, the view. These women are so. Mm. They're, they're not very smart. Let's just put it that way, okay? That, that's the nice way of putting this. This is not what the problem is. And these people continue to try to skirt around what the actual problem is. Because they don't want to address what the actual problem is. That's why, and this is the disgusting thing about all of this. This is the disgusting tactic that these Hollywood studios are, are, are using right now. Where they will actually put people they'll put forced diversity into these shows so that they can then focus on pushing their woke agenda nonsense and when fans have a problem with that then these producers can point to the forced diversity that's in their in the show and be like oh well you don't like the show because there's a black person in the show they're using them as scapegoats, and it's absolutely horrific and disgusting. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I'm going to stop playing this so that you guys don't lose too many brain cells, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.